When EMI eventually ended up dismissing Goodman's recordings in favour of bringing in the smooth Roxy Music collaborator Chris Thomas as replacement producer, it knocked that familiar, toothy, lopsided grin right off his face. As far as he was concerned, he was the only punk producer in town. Nick Lowe was a big nosed, big headed cunt who should fuck. <laughs> Nick Lowe was a big. Nick Lowe was a big nosed, big headed cunt who should fuck off. And as for that Chris Thomas who stole his pistols gig, nothing but burning at the stake was good enough for him. Musicians turned producers who suddenly find themselves in the right place at the right time should have their own cautionary encyclopedia of tales along the lines of Heinrich Hoffmann's classic Struel Peter, like the tale of the producer who snorted too much cocaine off the mixing desk, or the tale of the producer that kept lying 